on my desktop right now guys um, let's begin with this tutorial so the first I have two controls today for you guys I want to recommend that I actually uh, used for myself and have some kind of experience with it and there are of course some negatives and some positives positives I'm gonna tell uh, about controllers so with anything further ado let's do this so the first controller guys that I gonna actually recommend you to use uh, for the same you or any emulator uh, out there is actually the PS4 controller uh, it's, it's, I think it's a dual shock because I think it has dual right so the first one is PS4 controller dual shock controller now is it res does it respond fast when you play actually uh, the games yes is there any like kind of lag uh, in my opinion I never feel any lags but if you like a really like that kind of nerdy nerdy one and really like want the original feeling of kinds then I would actually recommend to buy like uh, a controller that's actually super special made for uh, the game depends on which emulator you're gonna use to play to use, but I actually never feel any lag with the PS4 controller. So this is the first one, and uh, it feels good. This, I'm gonna talk now about the positive things about this controller. It feels good in your hands. It's really uh, com com comfy, right? Uh, the controls are really responsibly. Um, the, everything feels good, really. If you want to use it for the Wii U games, uh, Wii U game, Wii U emulator, right? Uh, the only downside with this controller is guys is it not compatible with window right any window at all because it's uh, Sony and obviously you have here Microsoft right Sony Microsoft doesn't like it's not like the best kind of friends I think hope I, I think you totally understand so the downside the thing is it's not compatible and that means you need an additional program with this controller to actually use it on your windows because if you plug it in it will not work 100 percent even if it's gonna like respond to some some kinds of programs but it will not be 100 percent working and uh, to do that by doing that this guy actually uh, you need additional one con uh, program and uh, it's kind of easy but uh, don't don't like don't fear guys i have actually a video uh, on my channel that actually shows you from step one to step uh, zero like should I say from step one to step uh, to, to the to the ending how to actually set up uh, the ps4 controller on your on, uh, to set up on your windows so that you actually can use it uh, probably for any pc games for emulators and so on and so on so this is the first option uh, the second option guys is actually to use um, the Xbox One controller because you're not gonna need the, the there's only, actually only positive things to tell to say about this about this controller here I know it's kind of expensive and whatnot and if you don't have Xbox One uh, Xbox One why would you buy one you actually benefit from this first of all it's wireless both of controls are wirelessly you can use them as well with use with uh, USB cables if you want to but uh, me personally I use actually use uh, wireless with the bloaters right so it feel this one is like more like a, a Wii U Wii U uh, Wii U uh, gamepad right it has like the the kind of um, I don't Nintendo kind of style you know here's the cross thing here are the rumbles here are the buttons and this controller is actually like the copy of the Nintendo Switch Pro controller um, and it, it, it's like perfectly if you want to really use it for Simu, if you want to use it like for uh, the, 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 the Citra, not the Citra guy, I mean like the Nintendo Switch emulator. Anyways, this controller is compatible with Windows because if you really live under the rocks, uh, Xbox is actually for Microsoft. So it's a Microsoft product and it's 100% compatible with any Windows out there. Maybe not X, maybe not Windows uh, XP or Vesta. I really don't know, but the other Windows are all, all, only everyone compatible. Uh, you only thing you need to do, guys, it's really like plug the cable here, and plug it in your PC, and uh, the, your Windows will automatically detect the controller as a wireless or like a, like a controller for an Xbox One. It will automatically connect that, and you will be good to go. And uh, let's turn let's let me turn that off because it's uh it does it's actually on so there we go 
and it's simple to connect guys uh, so what you need to do guys i you can use i do I rec always recommend cable to use like usb the usb cables cables that come with them but i personally use actually uh, wirelessly so what you need to do guys is go to the notification box uh oh turn on turn on uh turn on actually do you you usb <laughs> like uh, sorry bloatus go to settings um let's see i'm gonna remove can i remove okay i'm gonna remove actually my controller for my um for my pc right now so i can show you how to set how to set it up actually so as you might see it will look like this when you actually not having any um xbox one controller so what you need to do is to go to add bloatus on the device bloatus the first option here and what you need to do is just click on the X here. That stays for direct X, actually, if you don't know about it. Wait a little bit. And there will be a pop-up here, pair device. Your device would like to pair the Windows device. Do you want to allow this? Yes. And uh, there you go, setting up device. We're setting up Lotus Preparal device. You're just gonna close here. Wait a little bit. It's the Xbox Wise controller. And uh, setting up your device, just click on it. And you will see another uh, pop up here. Device is ready. Xbox Wireless controller is set up and ready to go. And that was it, actually, guys, for connecting actually your Xbox controller. Really easy, nothing too complicated. Works smooth and easy. As I told you, don't need the actual extra program as the PS4 controller. And if you feel like that the Xbox One controller is too. Um, uh, what what I say um, is I, I I I forgot the word right now, man. It's too expensive. There we go. If the Xbox controller is too expensive for you guys, you can go as well. As you can you can go as well for third party controllers that are made for uh, for Windows, and they will be they will work actually uh, simple uh, exactly as the original Xbox One controller and you will be good to go. So with that all said, you set up your controller, right? Uh, you go to your uh, emulator, as I did, I have it right here, same you. You go to options, input settings. So you will see, it will look like this if you never set up your same you emulator for controller. So what you need to do, go to emulate controller, Choose Wii U gamepad because it's gonna work for every game that out there, out there out there. Go to direct input, go to controller, and you will find actually control control right here. Input Bluetooth input compatible the in input device. Click actually on the A and now follow my lead. That will be the perfect setup for your controller. So I'm gonna do like that. So as you clicked on the A right here. You click B, A, Y, and uh, X, right? On your controller, not on the screen. It will automatically uh, fill up, right? Then you go on the triggers, uh, if I can see. Uh, LB, left, left B, right? Left B, uh, right B. Um, left T, left T, right T, then, um, I know it sounds kind of funny, right? I totally understand you guys. So, for the plus, go for these three lines, the small button here, and for the minus, go for those windows, window buttons here. For the click, guys, left axis, click only the this, this button here. Then you go up, down, left, right. And the same thing for the right axis, you just click the button in. And then like up, down, left, right. And the last but not least, uh, you go for this cross here. Cross air, I think. You go up, down, left, right. And the last, uh, last button is blow mic. Just use your keyboard and go for the F. And you're good to go. That's how you set it up actually. Now you're gonna need a profile name. I'm gonna name this thing Xbox. X. 
box. There we go. And what you need to do is really important. Just save, right? Oh, hold it up, hold it like that. Save. And let's see, guys. You you click like that. Clear, right? And everything disappeared. And you're like, oh man, I have to do it again. No, you don't have to do that. Just go to the profile. Choose the one that you actually did, Xbox One. And of course you will see there's nothing. Just go to load and all your uh, input buttons will be there. And you're good to go. Well, that, that's how, that's how it, that's easy how it is to set up actually your uh, controller with, I would not recommend like the keyboard and the mouse for Wii U game emo, uh, em, uh, games. So let's go to Super New Mario Bros here. And if we did everything right, it's going to work, right? What? Hold up, guys. Here you can see. What? Works just fine. No, I don't want to do what? that. All right. Oh, let's make it actually a big screen here. Full screen. Let's click. Look at that. Responsible, however, as good as possible, man. Click on it. Click on Wii Gamepad. Okay. Let me get actually my, um, so I can hear the sound actually. There we go. So I can get a mood. Oh, sorry. Gonna be like this. As you might see. There we go. Works just fine. Easy. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. Let's go. As you might see, it's perfectly described because here this is how you can run. It's the X button you run with. Jump and I die already. All right, I suck in Mario. I suck in Mario. All right, come on, come on, Mario, come on, man, show me what you got. All right, guys, gonna do it again. Phone to show you it really works. So we run here. One, two. There we go. Got the mushrooms. You see, works just fine. This is why I do recommend actually Xbox One controllers, guys, or like legit like controllers that actually work with Windows. Because they're gonna be like 100% responsible with the with the with the emulator. Oh 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 oh! Hold up! Give me that. Let's let's actually end this end this uh, end this video with like with clearing actually this level here, guys. Because I never get far than this level. So there we go. So uh, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, uh, I would I would appreciate. Um, hold, comment Mario go down here. Yeah. I would, I would appreciate guys your like, favor in it, uh, maybe you share it with your friend if you have like a hard time to, to set it up and whatnot. Come on, oh there we go, got one up here, and uh, yeah, that's what's actually it. it's kind of easy. If you want, if you want me actually to, to show you how to do it with cables, it's really not that hard. You just plug the cable and you, you're good to go. Oh man, this scroll tell you. There we go. I got actually the thing, bro. Oh yeah, Mario time. Yeah, kind of Mario time though. So it's you might see, guys. It's worked. It's worked really perfectly. Nothing, no problems here. Every controls work just fine. And as I told you, with that all said, guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day, and barrels. Keep it cool, and stay awesome. My name is Symphony Gaming, and I'm freaking out fear. Peace.